I actually got into photography because of this really strong love of the ocean. I started telling stories about people who work in these environments that may otherwise go unseen because they're happening underwater. There's so much fascinating science out there, but so little of it ever gets communicated. We really need to put an equal amount of effort into communicating it in ways that are impactful and powerful. My name is Jenny Adler and I am a conservation photographer. Coral reefs in the Florida Keys have been in decline for a number of years. I photographed a story for the Nature Conservancy about this incredible group of women who are helping restore reefs and their work is actually giving us this glimmer of hope for the future of our reefs. One thing you maybe can't tell from the photos is that these women were underwater for almost the entire week. They only came up to eat, sleep, and switch scuba tanks. We had incredibly calm seas the entire time, which I've actually never had on a research expedition before. <laughs> One of the first things we did on the trip was go out to Pulaski Reef, which is perhaps one of the healthiest remaining populations of staghorn coral in all of the Florida Keys. The PhD students and lab technicians had never seen this species that they have been studying for a number of years in the wild. There is one picture of a healthy thicket of staghorn coral and there are juvenile fishes kind of fanned out over the top of it and the sun is streaming through. It sort of was this ideal moment. You could kind of see the tears almost welling up behind their masks because they had never experienced this amount of healthy staghorn coral in one location. So a foo, I learned during this trip, is called a fragment of opportunity. The women will go out to a healthy reef and pick up fragments of coral that maybe otherwise wouldn't survive, and then bring them to the surface and actually plant those in their coral nursery. What was really neat about this project was that these scientists were actually underwater with these little kind of coral gardens and coral trees that are decorated much like a Christmas tree. And they put the corals on and they hang them up and they'll stay there for about a year. They take the coral from the nursery and outplant it at sites on the reef. These coral colonies that they're planting, if they're successful over time, will bridge the gap between the different coral colonies out there and make it so that when they spawn, it's successful. You can check out the article at nature.org.